Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Today I'm reviewing software update 2021.40.30.8 here in our red Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. We've got the full self-driving capability as well as the premium connectivity package. If we look at the full self-driving package, we've got auto steer beta, navigate on autopilot beta and a couple of other things as well with the package. And today we're going to do an autopilot test drive because all the software update release notes are very similar to uh, previous version 11 updates. Nothing has changed too much. And we'll engage autopilot right now. Here we go. Double tap on the right stalk. Let's match the posted speed sign. Yes, that's correct. So to match the posted speed sign, right stalk, push it down, count one, two. You don't have to push it all the way down, just halfway down, count two seconds and that 70 should match that 70 as you can see right there that's your current speed limit or your speed rather and i'm traveling at 70 kilometers an hour not too many changes for this uh, .30.8 update the uh, speedometer is still in the top right corner there the font is still small unfortunately and uh, the blind spot monitoring camera is still down here in this quadrant and it does still get blocked by my hand when i indicate or steer so nothing too much at this stage. Just going to go for a quick autopilot drive and just to make sure there have been no new bugs and uh, nothing else that we can see. Of course I'm going directly on the speed limit on 70 kilometers an hour to the letter of the law. Of course there's always someone tailing when you do that. You can see there someone's right up my nose. There we go. Uh, looks further away on there, but uh, see they come very close to you when you go at the speed limit. Even though it is legally the speed limit, isn't it? It's interesting. But uh, what we'll do is try to merge out of this lane. Once we have got a bit of clearance, I'll just give it a little bit more of a push here. And then we can do an automatic lane change. There we go. There we are. So I guess when the blind spot, when the cameras are up, the, the blind spot monitor doesn't come on. Let's try that again. Let's have a look at that when I uh, switch back to this lane. Yeah, so there we go. Confirm that when we change lanes uh, with the side repeaters on, uh, the blind spot monitor does not come on. I guess it's already here in the section. So, so that's a new discovery there for me. Uh, just confirm that does not occur. Okay, so uh, we are just going to turn right here. And, uh, and then we'll go back pretty much the same way. If we can find somewhere to do an... Um, look at that, that still changes lane in the filter area here. It does slow down to match the car ahead, which is nice. If we can find somewhere to do a uh, parallel auto park test, we will. If we can't, that's not a problem. But uh, if we can find somewhere to do uh, a parallel park test, uh, on uh, now it's camera only camera only auto park system then uh, we'll see how that works uh, with the new camera system be back in one second okay turning right we'll just cancel autopilot now because obviously autopilot currently in Australia does not allow you to turn well it won't turn automatically for you so the safest thing to do is to just take it off do a right turn here. There might be some parked cars here on the side. We can try our uh, auto park perpendicular parking. Here we go. There is a caravan. Let's see how this works. So indicate here. Okay. Nope, nothing here. Let's find another spot, shall we? Let's try and parallel park next to this person here on the right. Okay, so still doesn't show up. That's interesting. That's fine. Uh, well, let's do a uh, perpendicular park test. It's, uh, there may not be enough room here. Let's see whether this works next to this van here. No, there may not be enough room. That's fine. 
Um, See whether we can do a perpendicular test here with these yellow lines next to me. Okay, let's see. Here we go, that does work, that's nice. So we've tried perpendicular parking with white lines, and so it's nice to see that it does work on yellow lines as well. And as I said, it's camera based now, so um, even without cars next to me, it just follows the lines of the um, parking spot quite nicely there and we'll see what happens when it comes to a complete stop, whether I would have passed myself. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good job. I um, probably would have parked as well as the camera-based system. You can see I'm well within the lines there on either side, so that's good. That's good that um, perpendicular parking works. We still, I still haven't been able to get uh, parallel parking to work uh, with the new camera-based system, but that's okay, we'll keep trying. We'll try both left and right side today. And uh, we'll do one more test, I guess. We'll do one more test before we hit back on the open road again. Um, let's see whether we can go behind this car here. This computer repairs car, it's in pretty bad shape, isn't it? Yeah, so it still doesn't pop up for parallel parking, so that's fine. Uh, three attempts today. And uh, both plenty of room, I would have thought, but uh, still no parallel parking available at, as yet. So if uh, you guys can uh, get your parallel parking work uh, working, if you have um, if you have uh, a full self-driving package in Australia, or if you've got FSD beta in America, uh, let me know in the comments section uh, whether you're able to get that working. For me, I still cannot with the um, with the camera-based system. Perpendicular parking works fine, as you can see. Uh, I want to try and squeeze into the right lane here if I can. Yeah, no, I had to sort of veer a little bit. It was sort of aiming towards the left. I didn't want to go there. So I had to break autopilot. Uh, yeah, but um, perpendicular seems to work fine, even with yellow lines on the ground. I've tried it with white lines and yellow lines now, so that's great. Uh, I've tried different colors, I guess, if I can find a green line or a blue line, uh, maybe a hot pink line. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we what we can do uh, with future attempts at perpendicular parking, which seems to work pretty well, as you saw without cars even there. It just follows the lines quite well. And uh, yeah, today's autopilot test seems to work okay. Um, you know, holds its nerve uh, even with someone tailing us. That's, that's not a problem. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with today's test. I can't see any new bugs uh, or uh, performance improvements on this short drive. I know it's only very short, but still. It's nice to just get out there and test uh, each software update. Uh, this one's 44.30.8 here in Sydney, Australia. I know some people have got 30.11, so maybe it's an A slash B test. Um, if you've noticed anything else with 30.8 or 30.11 uh, with your updates, with your Model 3s, S or X, or even Y overseas in uh, the US, then let us know in the comments section below. If I do get the 11, uh, update shortly then of course I'll do an update for that as well but today uh, dot 8 seems to work pretty well for me here in Sydney uh, again the side repeaters uh, are on so the monitoring doesn't come on I'll just whether I can show you what it looks like there we go without the repeaters on the monitoring comes on there in that uh, lower quadrant and again with the left uh, indicator same thing as well alrighty guys that's it for today uh, again if you've spotted anything else in this update that I've missed Leave that in the comment section, otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out any other videos in our catalogue as well, uh, as well as our live stream replays. Alright guys, take care and as always, until the next video, happy charging!